Welcome back, everyone. My name is Steve Rudowski, and I'm a territory manager for Trust Joist Warehouser in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Today's tech topic that we want to discuss is the difference between a compression style roof using a ridge board and a structural style roof using a ridge beam. Uh, the ridge board or the compression style roof, we are following the chapter eight section for the IRC from 2018. Uh, typically in a compression style roof, which is what many of the houses have been built with over the years, uh, you'll see a single member, usually a two by 10, two by 12 with rafters going into it and then attaching down at to your walls. Uh, you may even see a single piece of LVL Microlam uh, in this position up as a ridge board. The difference is, is how the structure is being held together. We need to have two different types of applications so that the walls don't push out and that the roof starts to collapse. Down here at the bottom, sitting on the walls and up to one third of the bottom height of the roof system, we have what we call our rafter tie. And this keeps our walls in place as the weight from the roof pushes down and out on them. In the upper third of the roof, we have what we call a tension tie or a collar tie. This helps assist the rafter tie, but also assists with compression and tension uh, from wind loads. So when you have a wind blowing, your windward side blowing up this side of the roof is pushing in on the roof, so we're creating a compression. And as it comes over the top on the leeward side, we're actually creating a suction type scenario. So it wants to lift or pull this roof off in severe storms. So what this collar tie does is it helps keep the roof connected at its peak so that this can't pull apart. And to show how this structure actually works, I've used hinges in this model. And what I'm gonna do is, let's say you wanna make a uh, cathedral style ceiling and you don't have a structural style roof. Uh, you have a compression like we have here. So as I pull out this bottom rafter tie, you can see I have another one in the back and it's loaded with a spring to help keep it together. But you can see we're starting to pull apart with the tension. And as I push on it, you can see tension is created. Now let's say you wanted to get rid of the collar ties above because you wanted more attic space. Um, you were gonna finish off this floor and create more attic space. As we pull that out, you can see we're starting to create even more tension. And as we push down on it with uh, excess wind or excess snow loads, you can see that it starts to spread more. Now we go through, we pop out the last of our rafter ties and we've lost all stability within the roof system. Um, obviously the house isn't gonna necessarily crumble like this. It could just where it kicks out, you're gonna start to see walls uh, move. Maybe in old houses you also see where the ridge is starting to sag. Most likely that's also going to encompass walls that are beginning to buckle or bow on that end as well. So now let's take a look at uh, a structural style roof where we're using engineered lumbered beams and supportive columns that have been designed either by your uh, engineer or through warehouser software such as Forte Web or our Javelin uh, software. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're actually converting from the idea of taking uh, all of that weight in the roof and putting it into the walls completely, we're now building a ridge that could either be a single ply LVL uh, or multi ply LVL, depending on the size that you need. Remember that our multi ply micro lamb, where you can get up to 24 inches in depth. And if you were gonna go with a single ply, let's say a five and a quarter, uh, we could go up to 18 inches in a power lamb. But what we're looking at here is now the, the roof ridge as a beam is able to carry 50% of the load that's sitting on this roof. So any snow, your dead load, your live load, 50% is sitting up here at the ridge, the other 50% down here at the walls. And where that is being transferred from the ridge is down through a column, and as you can see through these lines, into the upper plate of this wall, into another column, into a supportive header, down through the liner studs or the jack studs that are holding the header and into our foundation or supporting beam below. And this would be on either end of a roof system. So what we're able to do is we can take away um, all of the other implements or 
uh, accessories inside of the structure to give you that true cathedral ceiling from top to bottom. Um, sometimes you may need to have collar ties in place uh, as a structural collar tie. That's there to keep the uh, roof from uh, opening like we discussed with the uh, compression style roof. A lot of times these are being put back in place to give a flat part in the ceiling if that's desired. Uh, if that's not and you want to bring this right back up to a knife edge, what's going to be required are structural hangers that are going to secure the tops of your rafters into the beam uh, or some type of structural strap that goes up and over the roof to attach it in place. Uh, all of this information on structural ridges can be found in our TJ uh, 4000 specifiers guide as well as our TJ 9005 specifiers guide. Our additional information can be found at our website at warehouser.com through our wood products uh, website uh, where you can reach uh, our different types of software, our engineering staff, as well as the other members of the territory managers throughout the United States and Canada. Uh, remember, everything that we're doing here is a mock-up um, just to give a better explanation of the products and how things are built in today's world. Uh, if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And remember, safety, we're gonna practice it, preach it, and then we're gonna go do our job.